The cow laughed. Would milk come out of its nose? Do fish get cramps after eating? Why do they lock gas station bathrooms? Are they afraid somebody will clean them? If a toilet seat were made of carbon fiber, would it be more comfortable? There. So what we're doing is I'm just laying down some high temperature mold release wax. If you've never done composites before, this is essentially to keep the uh, product that we're gonna use to make the toilet seat and the uh, actual gel coat used here, the tooling gel coat, from bonding together because they will bond together. So we want a nice release. Definitely by no means my best mold. I just, this is just, I don't know, it's still winter outside. You guys saw in the last video, uh, there's like a foot of snow still out there, it's April. So I figure, hey, why not do something silly? Let's make a carbon fiber toilet seat, right? So anyway, I'm just laying down some mold release wax here and then just like wax that you put on your car, we'll end up wiping this wax off. And then we'll move on to the next step once this is all done. So I had this plan, I was gonna do this cool time lapse for you guys. And uh, apparently my GoPro battery had other ideas because I uh, decided to die. So anyway, all of you missed, we put down a couple layers of Soric. I threw in some extra carbon I had, just for rigidity uh, around the edges, you know. It's toilet really seat, somebody might sit on it, stand on it, you don't know. Uh, I'm just getting ready to put the bag on and then we're gonna get into the actual infusion part of it. Let it cure overnight, see what we got tomorrow. I think I'm gonna throw some uh, marine grade gel coat on there just uh, for durability's sake, you never, you never know what kind of chemicals it's up against. So, get this bag on there and go from there. <sighs> so I was working on this damn thing last night, right? And uh, the infusion, something went wrong. I don't know what. I uh, usually I'll leave them unsupervised all the time. And I went in for dinner and came back and this, this is what I had, it was a giant mess. So I'm gonna try and salvage it. I'm gonna take this bag off and we're gonna try and rebag it and do another infusion. I've never done this before. I'm in uncharted waters, so we're gonna see what happens here. Like it didn't even cure. It's 22 degrees in here. Like what in the hell happened here? I'm so confused right now. I've never had this happen before. Where the infusion didn't work and it didn't cure. Like this is very, very, very weird. So I think we're just gonna scrap this whole thing and try again, I guess. I don't know. Never been here before. All right, I'll take this all apart and we'll come back. 
All right, guys, it's been about four hours. We'll see how this one turned out. I still don't know what happened to the other one. I've never had that happen before where it doesn't cure. We'll see how this one looks. That other one's over 24, year, 24 hours old now and still isn't cured. So right, let's see how this looks here. Let's get this bag off here. So this would be the part of the toilet seat where your, where your bum goes. Yeah, after four hours, it's not fully cured, but it's definitely better than that other one was. We're gonna try this again with a two by two twill. So I'm gonna put, for the carbon toilet seat, I'm gonna do two different carbons on the top. So my plan is the base itself where your butt would go is standard carbon. So I'm gonna do the inside of the toilet seat, standard carbon. And then I'm gonna do the outside of the seat so when it's closed and two by two twill. I'm gonna get this together. I'll see you guys in two minutes. So I've got the carbon down, I put the lentil sorc down, and I've got a couple layers of just scrap carbon back here, uh, just because that's where the hinge is gonna be and give it a little extra rigidity. And then instead of the two by two 12, then I've got some standard carbon here we're gonna put on top. And then it'll kind of give that, you know, transparency when you open and close the toilet seat. I think it'll look cool. So we're gonna get that on there and uh, see how things look. In the storm and focus on rainbow connections like Kermit The water on my shoulders, it was a burden Now I don't notice it, everything turning Everything shifting, doing it different I'm floating, I'm drifting Shout out the slums, round the world We are lifted, doing the big We about to change the game We out here taking names Let our voices rise Let them reach the skies We about to change the game We out here taking names Let our voices rise Let them reach the skies We about to change the Ow, things are looking pretty good. So now we need to get some hinges on here. Lucky for Amazon, I was able to pick up some stainless steel universal toilet hinges. So I think we're just gonna epoxy them on here. Uh, this is paper thin. I mean, well, I mean, I wouldn't say paper thin, but it's very thin. You're uh, probably gonna risk punching through if you use a screw. So we're going to just, yeah, we'll epoxy it on here. We'll scuff up the surface. Look at that. Hard as a rock. guys I think it looks pretty good I'm a little biased though I could definitely do better I did when I say I rushed it a little bit I actually rushed it a lot um, could do better but I think overall it's pretty cool I don't know what you guys think weight matters and I don't mean about fat ass sitting on the toilet seat carbon fiber is lighter than just about everything including the plastic that I copied this from thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one Hey, hey, hey.